Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to the new Kansas DLC, but not quite. We're still just in the border. We're starting out in Oklahoma. We're going up into Kansas if we look at it right now. I've got a boom lift on the back of the cab here, going up to Wichita to make our first delivery. It's about 135 miles. We should be in Kansas shortly taking up our big load here. This will be a double header, so we're gonna make one delivery, drop it off, and then, hope I can beat that car, the truck out. I think I can. And then we'll do our second delivery here. Let that truck go. It's never a good sign when you can't see it. But anyway, yeah, we've got this boom lift on the back, nice and big, lots of things to talk about. So we'll get on the highway here and chat momentarily. I'll be back as soon as we uh, hit the freeway here so we can chat a little bit more peaceful. I'm excited though about Kansas and there is another DLC, Farm Equipment, which is, has a lot of things to talk about there. I'm very interested in that one too. We'll chat momentarily. All right, we got a straight shot up to Kansas. We should hit the border pretty soon. There is so much to talk about. I feel like for the longest time, for a good period of time, kind of both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator were somewhat static, but now we've had Oklahoma and then Kansas. We got the Balkans out. The Farm Machinery DLC is interesting. Plus they've been tossing in new trailer DLCs and things like that. Just feels like the world has come to life. And I kind of like the pace of these new states. So, I mean, you know, Oklahoma feels like it was just a little while ago. And I guess that makes sense. They're smaller. So maybe they'll be kind of putting them out at more frequent intervals, which makes me think that maybe we'll see the entire country covered sometime in our lifetimes, which is pretty exciting as well. But yeah, I picked up Kansas today. It's about Tuesday afternoon local time here. It's about 5 p.m. for me. Uh, I just finished work and instead of going to the gym, I usually go to the gym at this time. I decided, nope, I want to go up into Kansas and explore Kansas. We've got an event for Kansas as well. So tons of things to talk about. New special deliveries in Kansas. I saw a kind of wind turbine propeller. That looks so cool. So I'm excited to explore the state. We'll talk a little bit about achievements on this episode too. And we will once again see if we can start on a new adventure. That's a police officer, but we're safe. That's a speed trap, is that? I, I've, I don't, did we just cross into Kansas and I get distracted by the police officer? Because the road just changed. Maybe there's a sign. I have so much going on. I feel like it's going to be hard to focus, so I might be a little bit scattered. One, I've not seen, let's do one thing at a time. I've not seen a police officer. Please pull in for a wing. I've not seen a police officer set up like a speed trap like that before. Is that new or is that something particular to Kansas? I'm not sure. But yeah, so many things to talk about. And I wonder if we did just cross. Here it is. Welcome to Kansas. Got to get a picture. You can see the sign over on the right. There it is. If I'm going to be able to get a good picture here. I never seem to line these up right so that I can get a good picture. But there it is. Welcome to Kansas. See, I don't think I got a very good picture. I was behind it. We're in the way station. Our first activity in Kansas is to get our truck weighed here. Hopefully we're okay. 68,000 pounds. No problems. Let's go on our way. But talk about some of the achievements in Kansas too. In addition to special transport, the new 1.49 update, there are so many things to explore in the game now. But I did want to talk a little bit about the five achievements in Kansas. We do have one, which is the kind of to be expected one, which is discover every city in Kansas, right? And then there's another one to discover all of the viewpoints. There are 10 in the state. So those are the basic ones that we would talk about. This is one, this one is my favorite new one though, which is can you keep a secret? The Can You Keep a Secret Kansas achievement is to discover at least three unmarked roads in Kansas. So it's kind of uh, embracing, whoops, that's the way, what? We're we going the right way here? The toll is over there. I think we're okay, right? We probably have a ticket here. This is new, I think, too, they mentioned in Kansas too, is that you get a ticket or maybe it's 1.49 or Kansas. Yeah, start of toll road and your toll fee changes depends on depending on how long you drive on the particular highway which is kind of more representative how it works in real life i'm not sure it's a a big deal because the money's not really that much of a factor but it's kind of a nice little realism touch here too past the honeywell truck but yeah the, the hidden road achievement that's going to be fun which means one there's some hidden roads in kansas and two can we find them and can we find three of them our drivers just made twenty five thousand dollars by the way that's a pretty nice load here um, the other one that I want to kind of explore as we get to, oops, we got to get off here. I got to cut this truck off, drop back, right. made it. Whew. Wichita discovered the Sunflower State, one of 14. We're going to hit this truck. Oh, we're good. Okay. 
it's not going on. I'm kind of thinking about all these things to talk about trying to drive. And uh, yeah, at the same time, it's always challenging a little bit here. But yeah, one of them is to deliver, what is it, jet engines? I'm looking at here and jet engine inlets. And I probably should not try to read on a corner and an aircraft wing from to and from to or from every aviation depot in Wichita, which makes me think there are, there are six aviation depots in Wichita, Wichita. I mean, that's a lot. I saw three aviation companies looking at the map, but maybe I'm just not seeing the other three or maybe it's I don't quite know how that one works. We'll figure it out, though. We'll see how I'm sure we can figure it out as we go there. But I'm hopeful that our second delivery can be one of those, a jet engine wing or a um, yeah. an aircraft a jet engine or an aircraft wing uh, to kind of start qualifying for perhaps that achievement there. So let's go forward here. Let's go forward. All right. Seven dollars paid. That's not very much. And up it goes. So. Yeah, that's a good one. And then the last one is a grain of salt. It says complete six deliveries from the Hutchinson salt mine in Kansas. At least two deliveries must be to a food factory. Requires Kansas DLC. So five achievements in all. They're pretty interesting. It sounds pretty good. I'm kind of uh, kind of curious in particular about that aircraft one and then to find the hidden roads. I don't feel like I'm very good at finding the hidden roads in the game. I feel like I kind of have to look them up. So I... I I think I found one in Oklahoma. I looked up two and I found a third one on my own just by kind of spotting it as we were driving by. I think it would take a long time for me to find them without knowing where they are. Just in particular, I feel like my powers of observation aren't as great when I'm trying to talk and record a video because there's a bunch of things I'm looking at. Speaking of recording a video, um, a couple of viewers and a couple of people have made comments and wondered about why I was recording in 30 frames per second. I don't have a good answer outside of file size. So this is my first attempt to create an American truck simulator, your truck simulator in 60 frames per second. And I'm gonna kind of tweak some of the settings here. I, I think my file sizes are too big and I'm not quite sure why. And I've got some kilobyte, There's, it's some kind of technical stuff, but I'd be curious if you notice the difference. Now that I've said it, you'll probably notice the difference, but maybe people don't. I'm going to take a picture here off on the right because we've got some sort of a photo opportunity here. Photo gallery off to the right side. There it is. Group Bank Arena. Oh, very cool. So must be one of the sports teams that plays there. We'll take the picture from a distance. That's pretty good. All right. And speaking of sports teams in Kansas, I have my one Kansas hat on. Jayhawks. Go Jayhawks. So, but yeah, so achievements here. Lots of things to do. Lots of things to see. Game time right now. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon and my lights are not on. There is a light indicator somewhere here. Someone pointed it out to me in the comments before. But... There we go. Now they're on. All right. Now we're going to go right and then left. There's 10 minutes more to go. We've almost made our first delivery here. Can we go this way? Off a tight turn. Looks like stormy weather. And the skybox, right, is different in this game. We could have the moon out. So that gives us a reason maybe to drive this evening or at least drive more in the night. The sky, I will say, does look considerably different here. This looks better. I mean, it looks moodier now. It's kind of got that overcast, cloudy kind of feel to it. It's kind of cool. That looks, that looks different. Question mark off to the right hand side there. Ah, so many things to explore. So that is definitely, we can see a big plane out there. Boeing apparently has a big industry here in Wichita. So we'll have to kind of check out this and see what we can find for deliveries. Are you letting me go or you're stopping? I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Rough turn here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll check in as soon as we get close to the parking here. So far, a perfect delivery. This would be number one. I got that fine for hitting a car in the last episode. We're trying to make a U-turn in Europe. So this is Global Sky. This here must be one of these uh, facilities. So if we could pick up a delivery from here, it's probably one of the engines or the wings and it's probably one of the ones that would qualify for that achievement. So 
Let's see if we can accomplish that. And I probably need to make a note as to where we've come from because I think it's different locations. I don't think you can make six from the same, two or from the same one, for example. Here is our delivery. This feels like it could be a challenging backup and we'll see how it goes. Enter. 40 XP, that sounds easy, but it's inside here? Okay, well that's not probably too bad. That thing there on the right, to me, right there, looks a, very much like an aircraft wing. That must be one of those deliveries. So maybe we can pick up that wing. And maybe this thing here? No, that's not an engine, is it? I can't go in this way. What the heck? We're way back up. Can't see it. Well, we'll sort it out here. Are you kidding me? That's a 40? Well, maybe, maybe. Looks kind of hard for a 40. Okay, well, I guess if we just get it straight, can look at it, it's going to be fine, right? Kind of fun inside the building here. Not a very good parking job though. And we are here. It's kind of cool inside the building like this, I must say. All the airplanes and stuff. Very nice. So we are here. Let's get our $14,000 for this one. And then should give us our first job here. It's actually a lot of money for that. 14,000 and working up to level 29. We'll continue on here. Kansas event number one. So we got that, perfect. And let's go now to job market, see if we can find something else. I'll be right back. This is absolutely perfect. We've got an aircraft wing from Wichita up to Kansas City. So I think that will count for that, uh, what is it called? Air capital of the world achievement. It'll be our first of six deliveries here and it should be able to pick it up right here where we are. So that's a pretty good start. I'll get us all hooked up and then we'll get going. All righty, all hooked up. We've got our wing going up to Kansas City. They can't be very heavy, right? I mean, it's a wing, so it's supposed to be in the air. So I can't imagine the thing weighs very much. So if we can get a U-turn, get out on the road here. I want to talk about the Farm Machinery DLC, which completely caught me off guard. Oh, this is an articulated trailer, so we will probably not be backing this one up when we get there for sure. This could be for an interesting journey, especially if we're trying for a perfect delivery, 200 miles. Fingers crossed, let's see if we can get delivery number two. We've got one in a row now. So get out of the area here, and this should count for the lots of things, right? The Kansas achievement, the aircraft capital of the world achievement, the event will be two of 14. And I think what I'm gonna be doing, by the way, I want to try to get in a bunch of uh, episodes with Kansas as the new DLCs come out here. Hopefully one maybe even kind of finding some of those hidden roads, if I can figure out where they are and stuff like that, that should be a lot of fun. But just kind of explore the state, probably put up, I'm gonna guess like three episodes in the next five days or something like that, one today, and then probably um, you know two or three more over the next few days here as we keep going. So try to spend a little bit of time with the DLC. Always fun to explore for sure. We make a nice wide turn with our wing here. Do not want to damage the air wing. Whoa, that was closer than I wanted to be. We are on our way. So have people, have you picked up the Kansas DLC? Have you checked it out? Aircraft over there. Are you enjoying it? There's always people who finish it really fast. When I mention that, it's like, yeah, I've got all the cities. I mean, people. I think some people like to get it just the first day and drive to every city, get the event done and all those kinds of things. I'm, I, I kind of I mention it each time one comes out, but I'm a little bit more of a kind of a connoisseur. I like to experience it slowly and keep the newness and stuff. And then generally, you know, by the time something new happens, I even haven't quite finished the state yet. There's still some things to left to explore, like in, in Oklahoma, some of the achievements to do. But this seems like a fun state to do, just especially combined with the 1.49 update, which brings uh, used trucks be something to explore and all the different kind of the different ways that parts and things like that wear out so lots of things the game just keeps evolving which is pretty cool here and i should have time i think 
with real life stuff over the course of the next week to um, to be able to get at least three episodes in with this. So looking forward to that. I should have time this weekend to do another couple. I'm curious too how the, the 60 frames per second things work out. It's a technical thing. It's not related to American Truck Simulator. But I did notice when I was, I did one in Farm Simulator and it, <laughs> Farm Simulator when I play, it kind of connects to the farming machinery stuff too, but when I play, it, uh, I t have to play about three or four hours of game time to make a 30 minute or so episode just because the amount of time you're playing. So that means that my video files were 80 gigabytes, <laughs> which was pretty big. So I have to figure out a way to get that down a little bit. And I, I think technically they're just a little big. If you know about some things to take a look to keep your file sizes reasonable, I mean, I know about kilobytes per second and resolution and all that kind of stuff and um the, but I, yeah i think they're a little bit too big and i'm not quite sure why but anyway that's it's a skill to be learned i think long term in terms of creating videos is how to get the balance between quality and frame rate but it does sound like 60 frames per second is the way to go so if it is better and you like the motion better i hope people appreciate it so um, it is a bigger file size which means slower uploads yeah. and stuff maybe i need to upgrade my internet i don't know but Anyway, we'll get out on the highway a little bit here. We're speeding already, trying for perfect delivery number two. Should definitely take a picture of the wing on this one. This looks like this should be the screenshot for sure. Okay, so we're on this uh, single lane highway here in Kansas. And I feel like, oh, I thought right there might have been a hidden road, but it goes to a gate. <clears throat> like hit the brakes and everything. I, I, I feel like these single lane highways are the places where you're gonna see the hidden roads, right? And maybe if we could go straight, there'd be one down there, but maybe we'll see one off to the left here. I want to try to find one on my own. It's kind of fun. We go left up here. Turn Let's make left. this. And we got it. All righty. This looks interesting. Should have taken that turn wider. All right. But yeah, I feel like there's a hidden road here. For sure. Oh, right here. Look. Right? Right, right? That's a hidden road. And no, it just goes to a fence over there. Oh, darn it. So excited for a second. It's going to be tough to take an aircraft wing down a hidden road, though. I can't imagine that's the brightest thing to do. Which means, of course, we have to do it if we see one. I can't resist the path of a hidden road. Maybe I could unhook the trailer and go down it with just the, the cab. But we'll see. We must be in a little town here. We've got oh viewpoint up ahead. Excellent. This must be a small town viewpoint. One of the things, too, about Kansas that I'm excited for, I mean, we're going to Kansas City, and this is the closest point to me, to our, my house in the United States, because we're in Minnesota, and Kansas City is about, it's like an eight to 10 hour drive down there, depending upon traffic. So we're starting to get closer. Now, I know they're kind of going east with like, I think it's what Alabama, Nebraska's next and stuff like that, too. I mean, it's still got a ways to go, and I haven't heard any talk. We have to get through Iowa and North Dakota and South Dakota before we're going to get to Minnesota. So it's going to be a while before we get there. But starting to get closer. It's not too far away. It's not hard to imagine maybe within the next two years that I'll be able to drive in a home state or drive in places where I've driven a number of times before. So I think that'll be kind of fun. But yeah, definitely to have your home state in the game would be fun. I imagine if you're watching this and you're from Kansas, it's got to be fun if you played a game too to be able to drive in places. I'm curious to see what it would feel like too, because you know that the scale is so much smaller. I mean, the state is so much, where is our little viewpoint here? I want to pull off and grab it. Where is it? Up ahead here? Do we have to pull in there? Oh, we got to pull in there. Ah, oh, challenge accepted. We're already on the wrong side of the road. What could go wrong here? I feel like this is asking for trouble with an articulated trailer. Trailer. Why is this auto spot here? This is dumb. Kitties at home, don't try this on your own. Oh, maybe we made it. All right, let's see what we got. El Dorado, one of 10 on the Wheat State Explorer. Oh, this is El Dorado. Oh, very cool. Oh, something going on here. News conference at the City Hall, perhaps. A lot of people with their phones out. Welcome to El Dorado Historical Art Museum. Very cool. I do think uh, uh, kind of one of the elements of this too. Oh, that looks actually pretty cool. A little 
bridge over the waterfall. Very Midwestern, I feel like. And I feel like they're capturing kind of some of that feel of uh, the middle part of the United States. And I think, oh, that car pulled in there. Car, white, oh, crash vehicle offense 900. I hit the car. Well, since we hit him and he's, why did he, he wasn't there when we pulled in. I'm just gonna move his car out of the way. That's just, you don't do that car. But <laughs> I suppose we could have waited for him to move. He was, but he, he wasn't there. <laughs> we pushed him all over the place. He wasn't there when we pulled in. And so how did he get there? That's the question I want to ask. He just apparated. Oops. Anyway, we're, when things go wrong, they tend to go wrong in batches here. So I think we're okay. That's not the way you should drive though, right? I think we're okay. You should know there's nothing in your lane. Car's coming at us. Oh well. So much for the perfect deliveries of 10 in a row, but we did get that viewpoint. That's good. We're up to $180,000 too. It's time to buy something in this game. Make another truck or so. We'll keep moving on down the road. Perfect delivery wiped out. <laughs> Hunting for a hidden road here too. So it's a couple things here. It's 645. We just yawned, so we do need to sleep. There's a viewpoint off in this rest area. It is a bizarre cattle pens. That's that's interestingly named for sure. And there's an, a place to sleep here and a scenic area, which is going to be, I think, the cattle pens here. So we need to check both of these things out. This looks like the sleeping area right here for a truck, perhaps. Can we just pull off here? I'm a little bit confused. That almost looks like a hidden road. Oh, but look at that. Is that a hidden road? I think we're going to detach and then go explore. Let's do this. Yeah, see? Sky appreciates it. It's like, let's do this. Because this feel. Oh, we're in the cattle pens here. Oh, wait, wait. No, this is not the way you're supposed to go, right? Ah, oh, it's a dead end. I thought this would be a hidden road, but they hid that. We are exploring the cattle pens, though. Now we have to go hook up our trailer, make a U... Oh, we've made a downright mess of this again. That's what you get for trying to be an adventurer, right? But, okay. And this is definitely not the place to sleep. We're going to be okay, though. We'll hook it up, and we'll get back in the road. I'll see you once I sort this out. This is, this is nothing to see here. It's going to be very boring. Nothing to see at all. We're just going to go hook up the aircraft wing. Whoops, why are we going downhill here? We'll hook up the aircraft wing again. We'll get back out on the highway. We'll get to sleep. We'll do our little scenic viewpoint. This is this is nothing special about this at all. That was easy. We got it hooked up. Where is the place to sleep? Though? Oh, there it is. All the cars are in it. The heck? We just pull over here to sleep? I am right on the blue bed. I feel like who's ever... No offense, but I feel like who's ever doing the sleep stations here in the game is to is messing with us because there's the one in Europe that wasn't actually there and I am right on the marker now and it's not giving me the option to sleep at all oh nice we got it perfect this is a tricky place to sleep but nighty night one of the things I want to do now oh look at this the sky looks so much different I wanted to see if we could see the moon because they have the moon in the game now Pull over here. Okay, we we actually, we managed that pretty well, avoiding catastrophe, I think. Let's see what this is. This is the Bizarre Cattle Pens. That's interesting. It's a big field with cattle, lots of cattle in there, I guess, which makes sense because they're cattle pens. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good seed. That that make, must make more sense then. Because now we're seeing, this looks pretty old though. Got sunflowers. Kansas is sunflower state, right? All right, so we got that. Now, the question I want to see is, can we see the moon? I do not see the moon, but it's kind of cloudy here. And the sun's coming up too, so. Oh, are we blocking traffic here? Oh, yeah, sorry, pal. Okay, we'll get on the road. We'll look for the moon some other time. So a little bit under an hour left, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the farm DLC, which caught me completely off guard. I bought the Kansas DLC today, and then as I was loading up the game, like the, the page, the news page or something like that had farm DLC on it, 
And I was like, wait a second, I don't have that. And then I went in and so it was only, I think it was four bucks or five bucks or something like that. Uh, and so I picked it up. And it's kind of interesting because if you've been following the channel, you know that I started a series with Farm Simulator 22, which is pretty cool. By the way, that sky and the weather looks really cool. And I noticed more options in the photography area. So I feel like one of the big elements of 1.49 here is the just the, the atmosphere they've, and the enhancements and improvements they've made to sky and weather perhaps as well. This looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, so if you've been following the channel, you know I've started a series of about 10 episodes now into a farming simulator series, having a ton of fun with it. It's really challenging. It's a very different game, but I think it falls in that chill simulation category like this does. And so I've been learning all the equipment. So as I was learning at the far looking at the farming DLC for American Truck Simulator, it's like, oh wait, there's kind of a sprayer, crawler tractor. I'm not sure what a crawler tractor is. Forage harvester, that kind of makes sense. Fertilizer spreader, yep, we got that. Grain trailer, that one makes sense, I guess. Autonomous tractor, I don't know what that is. Hay baler, we just did a hay baling episode a little while ago. Seeding unit, yep, and then a disc harrow. I don't quite know what a disc harrow is, but harrowing, that's something we can do in the game, I think, too. So it's cool to see the overlap between that game and this game. I do wish that when they had DLCs like that, like they did it with a special transport and the heavy cargo one, right? That they had specific achievements that were attached to those DLCs. Because some of us do really like the achievements. I wouldn't say I'm an achievement hunter, but I do find they provide really nice, fun, short-term goals for me to work towards. Uh, but I am excited about that. Completely off guard was that farm DLC. So I have can I and I I bought it after this game was running. So I don't think it's loaded up in the game yet. So I think it'll have to be the next episode where we'll start to see maybe other trucks doing those deliveries and maybe see if we can get some of those too. I can't see if there's a light here. Sir, we can just go? Okay. This feels like we're doing something wrong, but apparently we're okay. Okay, anyway, we got about 10 minutes more to go before we are at our delivery this nice and wide and we'll see you uh, as we get closer to that final destination looks like i've got, got a bit of weaving and bobbing to do here for the final stretch all right we are here it looks like i'm not sure looks like it's all oh, railhead maybe it's pretty narrow i'm not sure why we're oh yeah it must be going so this wing must be going on some kind of a rail car someplace find a new route. why are you finding a new route we're, we're good here sky don't don't get all hissy again here. I think we're doing okay. Just got to get into the security station here and drop our wing off. No worries. Oh, I thought there would be a green arrow, a little drop-off spot, but there isn't. We just have to pull this up. But this is not a... Well, we're going to hit that side thing. Get out of the way. Oh, we made it. Good. Okay. This is not a special delivery. Why is there no little checkpoint there? I'm not sure. But anyway, hopefully this will go in straight. Nope, it did not. Okay, we'll come around again. Sometimes these are harder than backing up, I find, because you can't get the back end of the articulated part straight in time to register it in the parking lot here. See if taking it wider will help. Doesn't get straight, straight enough. Hmm. One more try. I kind of getting fixated on doing this. I think I know how to do it now. I think you have to go past it, then turn through it like this, and then come this way like this. Try this. Now it's going to be straight. Oh, now we got it perfect. There we go. Learned something new today. So you have to go way past it and loop around. It's not perfect, but it was certainly better than what we did before. All right, let's get our money for our wing. So that the this was only, I think, a $3,000 delivery. So yeah, the last delivery was an hour and something, two hours, and it paid 14,000. An aircraft wing, I would think, would be a premium delivery, 3,783, but we did get our first stage in that achievement and a little bit more progress towards level 29. That gives us our second city in cruising Kansas. We will be back soon. Let me know if you've got ideas on what we should explore and do and how are you enjoying Kansas. I'll put a link to the next episode as soon as it's ready. It might be Friday, it might be Saturday, but this one should go up today on Thursday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.